I have an amazing little but mighty Dollar Tree haul. Oh yes, I went shopping today because I needed some last minute things, last minute gifts. Um, I just posted a Burlington haul, so do not miss out on that because I shared with you guys some good finds that I found. Um, if you don't know yet, I've been sick with the flu, so excuse the way that I'm talking. My tongue is gonna, like, my voice is gonna sound a little funny because I have a blister on my tongue and it just hurts and that's what's up right now. So I apologize if I sound funny. Here we go, guys. Ah, I was blown away. So let me just start by showing you guys some basic stuff. I like buying these at the Dollar Tree. It brings six packs of four. $1.25 isn't the best bang for your buck. I would say no because in Target you can get, I think it's a six or an eight pack. It brings six crackers or eight and it's $1.99. So, and I don't know if Walmart has a better deal than that, but Target's brand has that deal and I buy those too but this was just out of convenience so picked those up then we ran out of man witch yeah the date's good on this we ran out of man witch I make this every now and then when I want to make a quick dinner so I just picked up a can so we can put that up in the shelf in the cabinet and have it on hand Um, you guys know every time I go I get these because we use these a lot so I got these to restock I was running super low then I was on the hunt to find a big bag because we bought my grandson my husband and I bought our grandson uh, Jeremiah JJ um, this thing from t we got it at Burlington it's super cute it's like a little, how can I explain? Like a little supermarket type of thing. It has the cash register. It has little shelves with play food. And it has like fake money for him to like, he could scan the things. It's super cute. So I, my husband said that it would be better to put it in like one of these big bags instead of wrapping it. It would just be easier. I don't know if this is too big, but this is the only one that I found. It's a bike bag. It's up to 27 inches, so I'm not sure. And it has little dinosaurs. And the dinosaurs do have like little Christmassy things. This one has a stocking with candy canes, the poinsettias, the little Christmas tree. He has a hat. So it is Christmas themed, thank goodness, because I didn't even notice. I just grabbed it but we're gonna give this a try and see I have to open it and see how big it really is um, and please don't mind my broken nail I broke it I'm upset about it <laughs> oh and if you didn't see my other video I mentioned that I got these little gingerbread earrings look at how cute they are I got them at Target they are that sugar sugar bar I think is is the brand I got them there my shirt, Christmas is so fetch, Mean Girls, is from Target also. So, in case you're wondering, because I know some people ask or want to know. Um, I love these um, breadcrumbs, and we're running super low, so I picked up another one. This is the Colonia brand, and it's Italian flavored. I always like to get the Italian flavored and I use it pretty much to just bread chicken. Now you guys, I have never tried this sauce. To me, pink sauce is mayo mixed with ketchup. That's something that at least here in New Jersey, a lot of uh, Colombian restaurants mix the ketchup and mayo and they give it to you in a little thing so that you can use it to dip your meat, your fries, whatever it is that you're eating. I've heard so many things about this pink sauce 
yet I've never tried it so I'm not exactly sure what it tastes like I'm reading the ingredients I'm sorry it says it has dragon fruit puree canola oil coconut cream water sugar white vinegar garlic ranch flavor um, salt spices okay and that's pretty much it it says exclusively manufactured for Dave's Gourmet in California so it says as seen on TikTok and Instagram pink sauce so I picked it up it doesn't expire till October of 2024 I got it to see my hubby likes to like dip his meat or his french fries in ketchup in mayo with ketchup in um barbecue sauce sweet and sour whatever it is but he's he likes to do that so i thought he might want to try this it looks like yum yum sauce to me and he likes yum yum sauce so i said let's give it a try and see and for a dollar 25 you can't go wrong and you guys i was so surprised look at these huge coloring books what these are so cute this is the first time that my store has had these i've have picked up and i have hauled them for you guys in other videos other coloring books but this is it says hasbro gaming i'm so sorry my phone is not wanting to focus it's crayola and look at all the stuff it has 288 pages it's a coloring book and it says it has two sticker sheets oh my god look how cute i didn't even notice that i thought this was so cute look at all the pages there's so much in here so i picked up two they had a bunch i only got two of them i'm sorry i'm reading to see if there's any price on here but there isn't i only picked up two of them because there was so many and i don't really need more than two i figured i'd hold one until my grandson gets a little older because he's only two and this is something that he can enjoy doing and i got one for us because who doesn't like to color i mean my husband loves to color he likes to draw he's always been artistic in that sense so maybe one day when he gets home from work if he wants to color here you go and then in the back it does show these characters i just noticed operation is this battleship i don't know if that's supposed to be battleship and i don't know who these people are but yes there we go got that then i picked up for the stockings i picked up five of these little hershey kiss bags i figured they're like the perfect size for stockings and it brings a couple of little chocolates for them so i got that um i need to hide it that's why i'm putting it back in the bag then okay i'm dying to try this out you guys know when you see a bag like this grab it and look at it because it is not a dollar tree product 99 percent of the time and it is a name brand product this happens to be maybelline they only had one shade i don't know why they do that and check this out it says dream lumi touch toche i don't know camouflante illuminator and it's by Maybelline I don't know if you guys can see that I'm gonna try to open it guys and we're gonna see what it looks like to me oh and the color is number 50 medium deep to me what I'm guessing that this is is kind of it kind of looks like a lip gloss type of thing you'll see why i'm saying that when i open it but i feel like it's supposed to be almost like a wand for either contour concealer or highlight that's kind of like the feel that i'm getting 
sorry guys with my nails it is not easy to open but I'm getting there <laughs> sorry ah, and my dogs are fighting in the background I don't know if you guys can hear them at least they're not barking thank god oh here we go I think I got it now already Get off my hand. It's like, st look, it's stuck to me. They're play fighting. All right, let's just leave it like that. Hopefully. Oh no. Sorry, it doesn't open like that. It opens from the top. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you see that? That's what I mean by like lipstick. But it says touch highlighting concealer. Now I could see the English part. Touch highlighting concealer. Let me know in the comments if you guys have seen this. My store had a lot of it. Um, let me know if you've seen it and if they come in other shades. I would love to know. Hold on guys, I'm trying to see still not coming out oh there we go okay see that that's the color that's the medium um, deep this to me feels like a concealer slash foundation I'm rubbing it into my hand because when you first put a color on Sometimes it doesn't look like it would be your tone, but when you rub it and you blend it in, sometimes it blends into your skin. This one I feel like is a little too dark for me. It might work in the summertime when I have a tan, but not right now. So, see that? Way too dark. But I don't know, maybe I could use it for contour or something else, I'll figure something out. Because it's Maybelline, like why not, right? And it's always good to um, to try things out because you never know if it's going to work for you or not. Um, like that. Hold on. I think I bought it. Did I? Yes, I did. The Candy Mojo. Check this out. I didn't know this. So you guys know I called these before. I showed you guys the dark shade and the light shade. Those were the only two shades that my store had. However, this other store that I went to today... It's like I said before, it's a smaller store, so I don't usually go there a lot. They had it in medium brown. And then look at the shade. And they had it in mocha. So I don't remember if the dark one that I got is called mocha because I don't think that the actual, like, packaging i mean the packaging says the color but the actual product i don't think has the color on it so now that i've used it and thrown out the packaging i'm not really gonna know but i think i did buy two so i could check in the in my room and see i have it on my vanity i can check and see if it's the same color if it is this is the shade that i've been saying that it's great for contouring that i used and i loved um, let me grab a wipe real quick because my hand looks kind of funny and I don't want to get makeup all over the place guys sorry super quick I have a couple of more items to show you guys so yes the candy mojo pay attention because they do have different shades so maybe when you go and you look they might not have your shade and then they might bring it because like I said I didn't even realize and I know that there's different ones because I left at the store the beige the beige is the light one that I bought and I know that because I remember the color and it didn't look good on my skin like the color didn't look good the product itself is really good guys it blends so nicely like I said it melts into the skin I actually have it on today it's amazing I like it a lot and like I said, I set it with bronzer and then I put my um, my finishing powder all over 
and it just sets really nicely. So this is the medium brown and the mocha. I have a feeling that the mocha is the dark one that I use for contouring. I'm gonna give this one a try and see if I could use it for under eye concealer. So that's that. Oh, I got two of these thingamajiggies. Then you guys, I know that they've had this before, but I was thinking, I don't know if you guys could see, but I have a lot of baby hair here. And whenever I put my hair up, it annoys me when that hair doesn't stay up. So I got the edge wax. I don't know what that word is, but then it says contour. They had it in coconut, watermelon, and shea butter. I got it in the coconut scent. I'm gonna try it and see if it works and then I could put down my baby hairs and stuff. I feel like a lot of my hair that had fallen out is starting to grow in now. It does smell nice. This is what it looks like. And this is gonna last me a super long time, so I got that. Then you guys, I have never, ever, ever seen this at the Dollar Tree before. This is from the Spa Luxury brand. It's called Everlasting Love Body Mist. And it says here, inspired by Calvin Klein Eternity Now. Let me know if you guys have seen these before because this is the first time I've ever seen them. And if so, what scents have you guys found? Because I love using these on an everyday basis, like after I shower, before I go to bed, right before I go out. That way I'm not wasting my good perfumes and I save those for like when I go out, out. You know what I mean? So this is what it looks like. It does smell nice. This was the only bottle that they had. There was not one other bottle in the store. So I don't know if it comes in other scents. It smells really nice. Now I can't tell you if it smells like Eternity Now by Calvin Klein because I've never smelled that perfume. Then you guys, look at this how cute. So I don't know if you guys have seen that these bows are in now. All the girls are wearing them. Like they wear their hair down, half up, half down, and they put a little bow in the back. So, I'm gonna try it, why not? I got it in the leopard color, in the leopard um, print, uh, cause that's my favorite print, but also because the other prints looked very little girlish to me. They just looked like Easterish, summerish. They were very like light colors. I think there was a blush pink, a blue, I think like a mint green and they had like flowers on it. So, that is why I got this one. I'm trying to get it out so I can show you. It just has like a little clip in the back. See that? And you can just clip it right into your hair when you do it half up, half down. I just thought this was super cute. And like I said, this is in right now. They're even wearing like the really big bows. I don't know if I'm that, um, if I can pull that off, but I can pull this one off, so I got that. Then you guys, I was super excited to find this. So Lisa from Pookie and who else? Somebody else called this. I don't remember who. I don't know if it was Amber. I don't remember. I'm so sorry, guys. But I found it. The Bolero Refreshing Body Oil in the Watermelon Mint and the body butter i tried it already and it smells nice i didn't think i was gonna like watermelon mint because i'm not a big watermelon scent person but it smells really nice and it's a nice jar and a nice size uh, body oil mist because it is a mist but it's body oil and it's only a dollar 25 and it's great it smells nice now they also had the coconut milk with lavender so I picked that one up also and they didn't have this though the body oil they only had this and they also had vanilla bean 
honey vanilla drink. That to me, there was one opened at the store. That to me smelled like vanilla yogurt. I don't know why, so I didn't get it. But this coconut one smells, I mean, it's closed. It smells really nice. They had like a, they had like two or three that were opened at the store and that's how I was able to smell them. You guys know people do that all the time. Then I got myself turtles. I haven't had this in a super long time. So I got myself a little treat. And last but not least, guys, I saved the best for last. I have not hauled the other ones yet, but I found the men's version that a lot of people have been hauling. And I have them in a bag. I need to haul that bag for you guys. But I found the women's one today. I don't know if you, anyone has found these. I don't know if I've seen it in anyone's videos and maybe I forgot, but this is that Hollywood Expressions brand. It's a blemish extractor set. You put all your little tools in this little thing. I think this is an amazing value. I bought one not too long ago from, I think it was Burlington. Um, and it came with this and it was not $1.25 so this is a great great value and in the back it tells you what to use each one for so I think this is great and this is this makes a great stocking stuffer or if you're putting a little gift um, or something a little gift together even this that's cute that's a cute decent gift so that's it you guys thank you so much for watching please 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 chismosa do not forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet what are you waiting for hit that like button if you like what you see hit the bell so that you get notified each and every time i upload a new video i will see you guys again soon i have to finish wrapping let me know if you guys have finished so much to do i'm going crazy guys but anyway i will be post i have to record another haul guys because i need to use those things in the gifts or add them to the gifts or wrap them and you guys know what i mean so i'm gonna have to record another video probably tomorrow and i will be uploading that soon hope you guys are all doing well love you all take care and i will see you guys again soon bye amigas